so we are about to find out velocity of a rolling object down an inclined plane suppose we are having an inclined plane whose angle of inclination is theta and the height of the inclined plane is h and that's what uh, we have done now the height of this inclined plane is h this angle is theta this height is h let's say this total length of the incline is s if you have got a round object and that round object is rolling down the inclined plane in the last session we have derived that the acceleration of this rolling object down the inclined plane is actually equal to g sin theta so i'll write that here so it will roll down okay if its mass is m and it rolls down an inclined plane of angle inclination theta can be given as g sin theta by 1 plus k square by r square we discussed what is k square and r square where k square is the radius of gyration if you know this here because it rolls down an inclined plane we are about to find out when this ball comes over here when this ball comes over here what will be its velocity that's what we are interested in so we need to find out velocity at this point velocity at this point is equal to what because when it rolls down at this point velocity equal to zero so that means the at the initial we call the velocity as initial velocity which is zero and you know from here to here the distance is s we know that v square is equal to u square plus 2a s and v is the final velocity at the bottom of the incline use the initial velocity when it begins to roll and the acceleration is the acceleration with which it slides i mean rolls down and the displacement and u here is 0 square because it starts rolling at the highest point velocity at the bottom is what we would like to find out and it rolls down with an acceleration a which is given by this relation g sin theta by 1 plus k square by r square in such case we plus 2 into in place of a we are about to substitute g sin theta by 1 plus k square by r square into s so velocity at the bottom in one line can be written as it is root over 2 g s sin theta by 1 plus k square by r square what if you don't know this only the height is given if height is given and s is not given you know that sin theta equal to opposite side by hypotenuse side then this yes which is what we are supposed to substitute it here we know that s is equal to h by sin theta then if we substitute this in place of h if they in a problem if they have not given this length of the incline where l s is the length of the incline if they have given h we will be writing the same as in place of s we will be substituting this root over 2g in place of s it is h by sin theta into sin theta by 1 plus k square by r square the sin theta and sin theta will be cancelled so velocity at the bottom will be equal to root over 2gh by 1 plus k square by r square this is what the velocity of a rolling object from an inclined plane at the bottom velocity at the bottom of an inclined plane when an object exhibits pure rolling along the incline given that h is the height of the incline and s is the length of the incline so that's what will be done